title of this writing is Trust. Monday, Monday, can't trust that day. So sang the Mamas and Papas many years ago, and <laughs> more on key. It got me to wondering about the idea of trust. There used to be a TV show called Who Do You Trust, where TV legend Johnny Carson honed his TV chops. There are trust falls at scout camps and team-building seminars, and we find the words in God We Trust on currency and in courtrooms. It seems we're surrounded by a concept that on first blush is in short supply. What is trust? I think if you examine it carefully, it turns out to be a sensation in our body that we affix a label to called trust. Our nature is to trust. We've been conditioned not to. The difficulty with conditioning is that we have moved our sense of trust from our body to our mind, where it is always a dichotomy. How can I trust him when he didn't come through in the past? I should trust him, though, because he's family. The debate goes on and on, and trust remains a mental concept. This is certainly not a suggestion to ignore your experience and become blindingly trusting and naive. That's one reason we have an intellect, to parse out the wheat from the chaff. That function of our mind is to be celebrated. It will save you a lot of grief, not to mention money. The downside of evaluation is you stay in your head and ignore your body. That's like judging the region's weather by describing the snowfall in your front yard. It turns out to be a false barometer more often than not. If trust is a feeling, get familiar with what that sensation feels like, especially for you. Go back in your mind and think of a time when you felt the sensation you call trust, and it worked for you. Notice what trust feels like in your body. Then think of another time when you felt the sensation of trust and catalog it. You're calibrating your body to recognize trust. Practice this until you know what trust feels like for you. Then, the next time you're in a situation to choose whether to trust or not, check in with your body and see if this scenario passes the sniff test. This simple calibration of your body will allow you to trust in trust once again. It feels great, and it'll save you lots of debate. All the best, John.